This meeting is being called to order. We'll start with a roll call. Sean Burke, Republican Elections Commissioner. Ineda Tavares, Chairperson and Democratic Member. Ellen Rooney, Republican Member. Alexis Kitchuk, Democratic Member. All right, so um, we have a couple of agendas, um, items on the agenda today. The uh, first item is the certification of election results um, from the September 14th preliminary election, as well as the um, recount which took place on Saturday. Sean, you wanna? Madam Chair, I submit the uh, results of the uh, recount uh, that was conducted on Saturday on behalf of Sabino Camarque, the uh, Assistant Registrar of Voters. Have you guys had a chance to review the results? Sabina, is there anything that you want to add before we motion to accept? For the whole election, both the recount. Okay. So my correction, Madam Chair, I submit on behalf of Sabino Pamonti the result, the final results for the preliminary election on September 14th for certification. Can I make a motion? I make a motion to accept the results. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? So the board will move to certify the um, Results as submitted by Head Registrar Sambito Pamonti um, for the September 14th preliminary election. So we are going to immediately move um, to the ballot position drawing for the November election. You guys all ready? Mm -hmm. So I want to start by um, just thanking everyone here for attending the ballot position drawing for the upcoming election, um, which is scheduled for Tuesday, November 2nd. Um, I guess you've all had an introduction to all of my board members here. Um, the purpose of this drawing is to de determine the order in which the candidates' names will appear on the November 2nd ballot, um, and everyone here should have received a list of candidates. We will begin with the Office of Mayor, followed by um, the drawing for um, both the district and at-large seats, which would, both, which would take place simultaneously we will call out these names one by one in alphabetical order and place them into the receptacle. Once we've announced every name, we will begin drawing the names from the receptacle and the order in which they are drawn is the order in which they will appear on the November ballot by race. In addition to the list of candidates for each office, um, the November ballot will include one binding ballot question, which will appear as question one on the ballot. Um, question one, uh, will uh, it ask voters, shall the city approve the charter amendment proposed by the city council summarized be below? In sum summary of the proposed charter amendment, the proposed amendment to the Boston City Charter would change the city of Boston's budget process in several ways. Under the proposed amendment, the mayor and city council would hold budget budgetary powers together with the power to modify and amend appropriation orders, as is the case now under the amendment, will under the amendment only the mayor may initially submit a budget or appropriation order. Currently, the city council can adopt or reject a budget or reduce specific line, uh, specific items in the budget. Under the proposed amendment, the city council would have the ability to amend the budget by reallocating funds among existing or new line items. The total amount of the City Council's am amended version of the budget, however, could not exceed the total amount of the budget proposed by the Mayor. The, ba the Mayor could accept or reject the City Council's version of the budget or amend any line item in the City Council's version of the budget. The City Council would have the ability to override the Mayor's veto or amendments by a two-thirds vote. In addition, the mayor and city council would also be able to amend the Boston public school budget subject to existing laws providing that only the Boston school committee may originate a school budget or allocate spending within the school budget. 
The proposed amendment also requires the City Council and Mayor to create by ordinance an independent office of precipit precipitatory budget, bu budgeting, including an, or, an external oversight board to further public engagement and public spending. Under the proposed amendment, the office could create an, and oversee an equitable and binding decision-making process open to all Boston residents. The structure of the office and oversight board and the binding decision-making process on the budget would be described in the future ordinance enacted by the City Council and Mayor. The ballot will also include two non-binding public advisory questions, which will also be drawn um, from the receptacle to determine the order in which they will appear. The non-binding questions are an Eversource substation in East Boston, which will ask voters, should a high-voltage electric sub substation be built at 400 Condor Street in East Boston, along the Chelsea Creek near homes, parks, playgrounds, jet fuel storage, and in a flood, flood risk area, rather than in a nearby alternative safe and secure location, such as non-residential Massport land and Log at Logan Airport. The um, second question which will be drawn is a, que a question um, for the school committee and in which in the ways in which we would elect our school committee. Um, should the current appointed school committee structure be changed to a school committee elected by Boston, re by the residents of Boston? the office of mayor um, Anissa Asabi George 32 Mayhew Street District 3 present City Council at large for the office of mayor Michelle Wu 17 Augustus Ave District 5 present City Councilor at large For Mayor Michelle Wu, 17 Augustus Ave, District 5, present City Councilor at large. Mayor Anissa Asabi George, 32 Mayhew Street, District 3, present City Councilor at Large. For City Councilor at Large, Michael F. Flaherty, 1726 Columbia Road, District 2, present City Councilor at Large. For City Councilor at Large, Althea Garrison, 47 Woodcliffe Street, District 7, former City Councilor at Large, former State Representative. For City Councilor at Large, David Halbert, 37 Senator Boland Circle, District 4. For City Councilor at Large, Ruthie Lewigen, 46 Lexington Ave, District 5. For City Councilor at Large, Julia Mejia, 48 Capon Street, District 4, present City Councilor at Large. For City Councilor at Large, Carla B. Montero, 480 Harvard Street, District 4. For City Councilor at Large, Erin J. Murphy, 
138, Monsignor Patrick J. Lydon Wade, District 3. For City Councilor at Large, Bridget M. Nee Walsh, 118 G Street, District 2. For City Councilor District 1, Lydia Marie Edwards, 186 London Street, District 1, present District City Councilor. For District City City for City Councilor District 2, Edward M. Flynn, Flynn 254 Gold Street, District 2, present District City Councilor and Veteran. For City Councilor District 3, Frank Baker, 43 Grampian Way, District 3, present District City Councilor. For City Councilor District 3, Stephen McBride, 40, 67 Downer Ave, District 3. For City Councilor District 4, Evandro C. Carvalho, 70 Fuller Street, District 4, former state representative. For City Councilor District 4, Brian J. Worrell, 42 Columbia Road, District 4. For City Councilor District 5, Ricardo Arroyo, 106 Faraday Street, District 5, present District City Councilor. For City Councilor District 5, John E. White, 214 Rosendale Ave, District 5. For City Councilor District 6, Kendra Rosalie Hicks, 161 South Huntington Ave, District 6. For City Councilor District 6, Mary Tamer, 28 Maxfield Street, District 6. For City Councilor District 7, Tanya Fernandez Anderson, 40 Schuyler Street, District 7. For City Councilor District 7, Roy A. Owen Sr., 6 Woodville Street, District 7. For City Councilor District 8, Priscilla Kenzie Bach, 53 Pickney Street, District 8, present District City Councilor. For City Councilor District 9, Michael J. Bianchi, 68 Goodenow Street, District 9. And for City Councilor District 9, Liz A. Breardon, 33 Champney Street, District 9. Present District City Councilor. For City Councilor District 8, Priscilla Kenzie Bach, 53 Pickney Street, Dor District 8, present District City Councilor. For City Councilor at Large, David Halbert, 37 Center Senator Bowl and Circle, District 4. For City Council District 4, Brian J. Worrell, 42 Columbia Road, District 4. For City Councilor District 7, Roy A. Owens Sr., 6 Woodville Street, District 7.
for City Councilor District 5, Ricardo Arroyo, 106 Faraday Street, District 5, present District City Councilor. For City Councilor District 1, Lydia Marie Edwards, 186 London Street, District 1, present District City Councilor. For City Councilor at Large, Bridget M. Nee Walsh, 118 G Street, District 2. For City Councilor District 3, Frank Baker, 43 Grampian Way, District 3, present District City Councilor. For City Councilor District 7, Tanya Fernandez Anderson, 40 Schuyler Street, District 7. For City Councilor at Large, Julia Meija, 48 Capon Street, District 4, present City Councilor at Large. For City Councilor at Large, Carla B. Montero, 480 Harvard Street, District 4. For City Councilor District 3, Stephen McBride, 67 Downer Avenue, District 3. For City Councilor District 9, Michael J. Bianchi, 68 Goodenow Street, District 9. For City Councilor at Large, Ruth Z. Louis Jean, 46 Lexington Avenue, District 5. For City Councilor District 9, Liz A. Breardon, 33 Champney Street, District 9, present District City Councilor. For City Councilor District 6, Kendra Rosalie Hicks, 161 South Huntington Avenue, District 6. For City Councilor District 2, Edward M. Flynn, 254 Gold Street, District 2, present District City Councilor and Veteran. For City Councilor at Large, Althea Garrison, 47 Woodcliffe Street, District 7, former City Councilor at Large, former State Representative. For City Councilor District 4, Ivan Drusi Carvalho, 70 Fuller Street, District 4, former State Representative. For City Councilor District 6, Mary Tamer, 28 Maxfield Street, District 6.
For City Councilor District 5, John E. White, 214 Rosendale Ave, District 5. For City Councilor at Large, Michael F. Flaherty, 1726 Columbia Road, District 2, present City Councilor at Large. The last envelope for City Councilor at Large, Aaron J. Murphy, 138 Monsignor Patrick J. Lydon Way, District 3. And for the non binding public advisory questions, East Boston Substation. And school committee, the school committee question. Substation in East Boston. The final envelope in the basket. Mm -hmm. Non binding question regarding the school committee. Okay. Thanks, everyone, for attending the ballot position drawing. Um, does someone want to make a motion? Madam Chair, I make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? And the ayes have it. This meeting is adjourned. Thanks, everyone.